Hello and welcome to another tutorial on how to use our Holy Hermits online app. This tutorial is specifically on how to use the prayer wall, which is, I have to say, my favorite feature about the app. I'm going to bring my little screen up from my phone in just a moment. Before I do that, I will acknowledge mine is a Samsung device. So that means that it runs on Android. It could be that if you're going to be accessing our app from an Apple, that it looks a little bit different to what I'm about to show you here. But hopefully the principles are mostly the same and it's easy enough to translate what I say and show you into your Apple space. So I'm going to bring that up on the screen now. Here we go. All right, here we can see our Holy Hermits online app tile. So I'm going to select that and hop into our app to our home page. This should be what you see when you first open your app. So hopefully it's pretty obvious. The prayer wall is right there on our home page. It's actually an image from the Wailing Wall of Jerusalem. So we can select that to go to the prayer wall. Excellent, here we are on the prayer wall. Another way to find the prayer wall is actually using the more button down the bottom right hand corner. That will bring up a whole list of more features on our app. And here you can see once again, you can select prayer wall and that will take us to the prayer wall again. So we already have many prayers which have been uploaded by community members, community groups, um, and also myself when there is a need for prayer. So if um, you would like to add this to your daily practice, it's certainly what we are encouraging for all those in our community who have committed to be part of our prayer group, that they use the prayer wall as part of their daily devotions. Um, but also this is for everybody to use. So if you would like to make use of it, please do. It could be that these prayers um, are prayed through one by one. You could go through the whole thing if you have some time, or you could maybe um, pick out a few that seem relevant to you or just pray the prayers for the last month. So many different options. Whatever it is that you feel called to do is wonderful because whatever brings us to prayer is a good thing. So here we have some prayers on the screen. I'm going to select the commitment prayer for companion animal ministry. So I'm going to hop in there and show us what it looks like when we expand a prayer. So by selecting that, I've brought the prayer up on the screen. We can see who wrote the prayer. It says by ministry task group and when the prayer was posted. The prayer is then there for us to say, perhaps aloud or silently, whatever serves. And then if we scroll down, there's this extra button under the prayer, which says commit to pray with a thumbs up. This is a fantastic button because it will encourage us in knowing how many others are praying this prayer along with us. Now, I've already selected this button, so I'm one of those 15 praying. I can't select it again. Um, but if I had not selected it yet, it would be a brighter uh, purple color in the commit to pray word and I'd be able to um, select it, and then it would change from the number of those currently praying and add me in. So if I hadn't already done that, I could go from 15 praying to 16 praying, and that would change immediately for me and for everybody else using the app at the time. So it's great to know that there are others praying this prayer along with you. So that's the commit to pray button. Under here, we can also see that someone has made a comment, which is another wonderful thing which will enable us to encourage one another. Perhaps in the comments, we put something which gives an update on the prayer or expands it. So if you, for example, have asked for a prayer for a certain um, situation, and then there's a change in the situation, you could come back onto the prayer wall and you could update everyone there. The way to do that is to use the little button at the bottom right-hand corner, which has a speech bubble and a plus. So I'm going to select that now. That will bring up the send a new comment box. Let's put our men with an exclamation mark. Once I've finished typing in what it is that I would like to say, then using the little arrow at the bottom of my text box to get the text box or the um, buttons to text out of the way, then we can see that there is this little uh, arrow button and that's the one to submit. So if we select that now, it will load submitting your comment and then it will have been sent through now it's very important to know that the way that the tidely app is set up is that um, 
comments and also new prayers are moderated. So they go through to two people at the moment who are approving them as they come. Um, and we hope that that is being done as quickly as is humanly possible. However, it is actually relying on human strength to be able to approve those. So it won't be immediate, but in time you will see your comment or your prayer um, appear and it will appear for everyone at the same time once that has happened. All right, let's go back to the prayer wall and actually go through the steps of how to submit a prayer. So let's say you, you've had a go, you've started um, praying the prayer wall along with us, and you would like to submit a prayer for a particular situation. So the way to do that is to use the little purple plus button. So I'm going to select that now, and it will bring post a new request. So we can give a title to our prayer request. So I'm going to put pray for those experiencing um, loneliness. There we go. I've got my title. You can see it's already populated my name because I've posted from my phone before. You can actually type um, whatever name you would like in there. I certainly encourage the use of first names um, only as with all of our um, gatherings and community contacts at Holy Hermits Online, best to use just first names. We are online. We don't know who else is seeing this and our app is open to the entire internet to be able to download and make use of. And that's great, but that does come with some safety concerns. So please just use your first name. That's best. And if you'd prefer not to use your name at all, you can just put anonymous. Um, that's fine too. All right, so then we have the details section. This is the actual prayer. So you can provide um, just a general please pray for this or you can actually write the prayer yourself that you would like to supply for others to be able to pray. And certainly I'd encourage that. That makes it a lot easier for those who are joining in with this prayer. They have something that they can just go to in their daily devotions and pray aloud. So here I'm going to just quickly compose a prayer. Uh, Dear Lord, we ask that you bless those living with loneliness and shine your light on them today. Um, please enliven them and give them a sense of your love for them in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. I have composed my prayer. I'm going to get rid of my text box now. And then I'm going to submit it using that little purple arrow button at the bottom of the screen again. It will then load saying submitting your request. And then if it's gone, that means that it has been submitted and it will be approved in time and then appear on the prayer wall. So that's our prayer wall. Hopefully that has cleared up how to use, how to start, how to begin. Um, and it will continue to be a tool for us to encourage one another in prayer, um, equip one another in prayer and stay connected as a community between our gatherings. So I'm going to hop out of the screen share now. And come back and say thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Um, I'm still learning so much about the app and I'm sure that it will be an experience for all of us to get used to using it. So if you have any feedback or any questions, please feel free to submit them. Um, you can do that through the app, through the contact, um, which you can see featured in the other expanded video of how to use the app, or just nip onto our website, um, holyhermits.com.au and use the contact page to get in touch there and we'll do our best. We have great support from Tithely who has helped us to engineer and hosts our app as well as our website. So we do have some tech support to ask for help from. So let's definitely make use of that. Thank you so much and see you soon.